So as you guys know, I just got this CyberPower PC. This is its stock. Here are its current specs, and we're gonna up upgrade it to these specs. So first, we are gonna upgrade the amount of memory we have. This is only one stick, which means it's, it's single channel, and it's only eight gigs. And here is what we're upgrading it to. These are some like, Viper Steel good memory sticks. They're 32 gigs each, which, which means that we're going to have a total of 64 gigs. Now, since that one's only one, it's single channel. And with these two, we will upgrade it to dual channel. <laughs> I don't know what dual channel means, but <laughs> it sounds like it's going to make it a heck of a lot faster. So let's start upgrading it. So here's the box of the sticks that I just got. If you want to check them out, I'll put the Amazon link in the description because these are the best bang for your buck. They are very good. And we are also going to be upgrading that. Well, we're not going to be swapping it out. We're going to be slapping another hard drive on. This is a solid state drive and it's fast, but it only has 500 gigs. So the, this is the one we're going to put in it. This is a hard drive with two terabytes. And that is a lot more than that one because a terabyte is a thousand gigs, which means two of those makes one terabyte. So this is basically four of those little chips. I'm going to use this to store big files and big games. Houston, we have a problem. So while we were trying to take the first stick out, well the only stick out, um, the, we encountered a problem. We cannot flip the retaining clip things because the graphics card is too big. Usually this is what happens. You push it and it opens up like that so you can take it out. But you can't do it on this side because it will just hit the graphics card. So we gotta take that out now. So before we take the graphics card out, we gotta take this little fancy piece of thing off first. First screw. It slides that one, yeah, okay, there we go. Before we take out the graphics card, we gotta unscrew these two retaining screws. I said screw a lot in that sentence. Epic magnetic screws. So before we get the card out, um, we gotta take the power cord off, so what you gotta do to take this off, you just push down this little tab thing and pull things. There we go. So there's the power cord out. And now another challenge to taking the graphics card out, is there's this tiny little safety latch thing that you have to push down. And it's kind of unpractical because it's right under the graphics card. So I couldn't manage to do it, so here's a PC Pro doing it. Okay, there's the graphics card up, and there's the little safety latch you have to push down. So to take the card out, you have to unlatch these little safety things, and to do that, you don't really push down, you more push that way, because it, it'll it kind of pop the card out. It, it's like a mechanism that when you push it down, it pushes up, so uh, here. See how it just popped the card right out? Here's the 8 gig stick that we're going to be replacing. Here's the new ones. So another thing to know before you install your memory sticks is that you have to match the sticks to the colors. Like here you can see we have two black and two gray that are staggered. And you want to put your two sticks that go together in the two gray ones or the two black ones. But you don't want to have, say, one of your sticks in the black one and another in the gray one. And another thing to take into consideration when you install your sticks is this little key slot is off center. And if you try to force it in with this on the wrong side, you will break your computer and it will not be pretty. So let's install these.
Our dog Donna just wanted to help us install our memory so badly. Okay, let's install these sticks. Oh yeah. I'm not going to be installing these because I don't feel comfortable doing it after having this computer for three days and I don't want to break it. The sounds it makes just, just make me, they unsettle me. Okay. Freaking focus. And our 64 gigs of memory has been installed. So now we're gonna put the graphics card back in. Hey, don't worry, I'll do it. Oh, we're filming. Back in. My dad is gonna put the graphics card in because I'm a better cameraman. Now we gotta screw the screws back in. I just dropped the screw in there. Now the screws are screwed. Now I have to put the cover back on. Wait, was it here? Yeah. There we go. Now for the screwy, screwy bits. Yeah, I know I will. So we have run into another trouble. These sliders are for five and a quarter drives, and this is a two and a half drive. So we're gonna need to get an adapter for that. Very small. And if you guys are interested in purchasing an eight gig stick, these are impossible to come by by themselves. They are always sold in pairs. They're never sold separately. So this is a Ballistics 8 gig memory stick. I will put the specs in the description below. So if you're interested in purchasing it, leave a comment down below.